What if I told you that the greatest game ever played took place not in a famous basketball arena, but on the streets of South Central LA? I knew when he left the house, something special was going to happen that day. No barking from the dog, no small. His mama made a breakfast with no hog. Well, it's a hectic scene here. There's helicopters overhead. I was a kid growing up in Los Angeles at that time. I remember almost everything from that day. I mean, you got him on the court, he was trouble. He fucked around, got a triple-double. You gotta remember, it was the early 90s in Los Angeles. He was on the booze. His girl was on the chronic. And if I recall, the Lakers beat the Supersonics. Usually he describes it as one of those fly dreams. He didn't even see a berry flashing those high beams. I personally don't know what that means. He apparently flipped on that fanny and killed the Poonani. And from what I've read, his Jimmy ran deep. And it ran so deep that it, that it put her butt to sleep. We were so proud of him because he is freaking niggas every which way. Like MJ. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked up and saw the lights of the Goodyear blimp. And it read, Ice Cube's a pimp. I mean, he had a good day. It was a good day. I think he had a good day. He had a good day. ESPN Films is proud to present 30 for 30, a good day. Hey, wait, wait a minute, Pooh, stop this shit. What the fuck I'm thinking about?